Okay, to set this up, uh, first you want to install the full calendar plugin if you have not already. This is a bubble publish plugin that you can install for free. Once you do that, you'll see the calendar element shows up in your element list on the left here. Um, and you'll just add that calendar to the page and the setup is pretty straightforward. So it's um, similar to a repeating group where um, the calendar expects a list of items, so a, a list of events. Uh, if we go over to my database really quick, I have a data type here for opportunity. My example that I'm going to take you through is I want to select a volunteer opportunity from a calendar. Um, when I select that volunteer opportunity, I want to be taken to uh, another page to complete my registration and sign up for that opportunity. Okay, So I have a data type for opportunity three simple fields, a title field so that I have a name for the opportunity, and a start and end field. Those are both date values so that the calendar knows where to place the opportunity um, event, uh, you know, you know, within the month on the on the right day and also at the right time. Um, and of course, just in general, I want my opportunity to have some kind of a start end date for um, general record keeping purposes as well. So in the calendar setup, you want to set the type of event, events to whatever data type is relevant here. So I've got opportunity, your data source, so your list of events, where are they going to be retrieved from. I'm just doing a general search of my entire opportunity database, no constraints there. And then we want to set the start and end time fields. I made it pretty straightforward, start and end date fields there, we'll just map to those. Um, I don't have any opportunities that are going to be all day. They're all fixed, you know, times that are start and end at specific times. So I'm just going to leave this blank. This is optional. Um, and then my event caption, which is what will be displayed here on the calendar, I want it to be, um, I want it to display the, the opportunities title. Okay, so that's quick setup with the calendar. Um, the next thing you want to set up is the target page. So again, I want to click on an event and take be taken to another page to continue working with that selected event. So on that target page, I have another page here called Volunteer. Um, and I'm going to add a little title text here too. But first, uh, this is just a very quick little sign up form. You know, the user gets here, they fill out their information, they'll hit sign up. Now they're registered for that event. Just kind of to show you guys the concept of moving from one page to another where we can continue working with some record that was previously selected in the other page. So if you go to um, the property editor for the page um, and pull this up, so one way to get there is to click on the page name up here or if you just double click anywhere in a blank spot on the page. Let me close this here like that and then it shows up. So what you want to do on the target page is set the type of content to the event type as well. So I'm going to set this to opportunity. Why? Because I want this page to be able to expect and receive um, an opportunity record. So I'm saying, hey, you are going to work with opportunity um, records. I'm going to pass one to you when I navigate a user to this page. So now it knows um, to receive an opportunity um, item. So now I can do things like I can add this text to my page and I can say just as a title for the page, sign up for and then insert a dynamic expression current page opportunities uh, title here. So I can reference the record, the opportunity record that will be passed to this page dynamically like this and I can access any of its fields. Um, we can use it in workflows. When I sign up a new user I can create um, for example a new registration record where uh, you know I might have a user field to save information, you know the name and the email that was filled out on that form, um, but I can save the current page opportunity to this registration record. I'll actually go ahead and do that. Let me do uh, here. We have a little title there, so it would say "Sign up for Walking Dogs," for example. That's the name of an opportunity, uh, and then the user would fill out their first name, last name, email. They'll hit sign up. What the sign up button will do is create a new registration record and the opportunity that is going to be tied to this registration 
will equal the current page opportunity. And remember, we're on another page here. We're not on the same page as the calendar. So the user will select an element, uh, an event from the calendar, and they'll be taken here. We'll pass that opportunity. I haven't created that workflow yet. I'm almost there. Um, but just showing you once you do get to this page, um, you can continue working with that selected um, event. Okay, and of course I don't have my other fields created, but we can do first name, last name, and email so that we save those values from the other inputs on the on the page. So input first name like that. So now then we have a little registration record going. Okay, so then the last piece of this is is um, passing that data over. So your calendar element gives you um, two event options, two new event options here. Uh, so if I go to click and add a new event under the elements list, I have when a calendar's event is clicked or when a calendar's day is clicked. If you select day, this is just going to activate when you click on any date in the calendar. We want to work specifically with an event that is loaded onto the days. So I'm going to select that one. When a calendar event is clicked, and if you have multiple calendars on the page, you can choose which one you want to use. Um, it'll default to the only one you have there if you've only got one. And so when that's clicked, I want to be immediately taken to the other page. So I'm going to trigger a go to page action where my destination page is my volunteer page. This is the one with that sign up form. And then here, data to send. This is now required because I set the volunteer page to have a type of content. If you leave this blank, which is fine in many cases, if you, if you don't need the page to reference a record, you can leave it blank. But if you leave this blank, then that data to send field in the go to page action is, um, you don't need to fill that out. So I'll go over here back to calendar, take you back to this workflow, go to page. Um, but of course, we do have a type of content. So this is required now. It's basically saying, hey, the volunteer page is expecting an opportunity record. You, I'm about to take you to that page. What opportunity record do we want to work with? So I'm going to select this calendar's current event. This just references the event that you clicked to trigger this whole thing. And that's all you need. This is the entire workflow to, number one, go to the volunteer page, but also pass that selected event over to that page. So let's preview this real quick here. I'm going to refresh this page. So I have two um, events on my calendar, two opportunities, a food drive at 9 a.m. and walking dogs apparently at midnight. So if I select food drive, I'm just going to click it. You can see my workflow is running. I'm being taken over to the other page and now this will dynamically display that um, event's title. Uh, I can go ahead and create, I didn't fill out these other forms, so I can create a new registration record. Uh, let's check our database, sign up there, registration. So here's the one that I just clicked on, my first name. And we have a an opportunity, if I can pull this over, there we go, opportunity. It's represented by its unique ID right now. Let's switch this over to the title so we can view by title. So there we go, this is the one that I just created. Okay, and that's all you need to do to pass um, a calendars event over to the second page. It's all in that go to page action. Just make sure that your target page has a type of content set to it. Thanks so much for watching.